Hey, this is Dave from ERC, and let's talk about the eight reasons you need to build a twin engine Tundra. Okay, so the first three reasons are going to be related to using the plane as a float plane, and then the other five are going to be overall reasons. So I've got this in my hand right here. This is the water rudder. So the first reason is you can get rid of this water rudder because you can have differential thrust with a float plane. So a couple of reasons you wouldn't want a water rudder. Uh, one is it sticks out from the bottom of the plane. It goes right on here where the tail wheel is. Sticks down quite a bit and gets in the way when you're loading and unloading it into the car. Also it grabs weeds when you're in the water and you have to back out of them if you have you know, reverse thrust, you can back out. If you don't, you're just screwed. But the water rudder can be a hassle, and we can get rid of that with a twin prop plane with differential thrust, because we can steer with a differential thrust actually better than we can with a water rudder. So here's a video clip, and that brings it around. And of course, you can give it extra throttle to bring it around quicker. And then if I go the other way, it'll steer that way. In the middle, we'll go forward. All right, so that's the basic way it works. Okay, so I actually mentioned the second reason you might want to build a twin engine Tundra, and that's because of the two props with differential thrust, you can make really tight turns in the water and get around obstacles. So that's uh, something you need sometimes when you're in the lake trying to get around other craft, around wildlife, or if it's just wavy and the waves are fighting you and you can't steer, differential thrust will get you through it. Okay, the third reason you might want to use a twin prop or build a twin prop is because in the water, if you're running a large prop on the front, it can actually splash against the water, making it hard to get up enough RPM to take off, especially if it's windy and wavy, and it'll throw water back on the electronics and that can be quite a problem, but with two smaller motors higher up, they're nowhere near the water, so you don't get that problem at all. Okay, number four has to do with FPV. So this plane actually comes with an FPV pod that you can use. So you can put your transmitter here and your pan tilt right here if you want. And of course, the reason for this is because if you don't have the prop on the front, it's not going to obstruct the view of the camera. So that's very important for FPV. Okay, I'm going to cover reasons number five and six right now. And that is when you have a single prop on the front, of course, everybody knows that produces a lot of torque. And that can cause the plane to twist one way or the other, depending on the rotation. And if you get too slow on takeoff or too slow on landing, that can cause a torque roll and the plane will flip over and we don't want that. And the next reason you might want to build a twin prop instead of a single prop is really something you might not think of it, but it can happen. We don't want to think about it, but when you crash or do a nose crash and hit this front right here, it takes out your prop and your motor. Now, I've done a crash with this one already and hit the nose and no damage whatsoever. I mean, you might get a few crinkle lines or something on the foam or have to repair the foam, but your motors, your props, and everything stay in perfect condition. Okay, and now the final reason, which is number eight. This thing is only $100 for the kit on Hobby King, and it comes in three colors, so there's no reason why not to get one. If you get the kit, you won't get any of the electronics, so you'll have to order your servos, ESCs, motors, props, and all that separately. But since you're going to change everything anyway, it's more, you know, it's more value to just get the kit and then put your own hardware in it. And I'll explain how to do it if you're interested in a build video. And it's going to be involving these 3D printed nacelles, which just basically go onto the wing like that. And you can put them, space them wherever you want them. And they just glue on with some Gorilla Glue. So it's very easy to do. And uh, if you want to do it, it doesn't take very long. I'd say I probably put 
oh, four hours total into putting the entire thing together. So these nacelles were designed by a friend of mine, Barney Blankenship. We uh, brainstormed on the idea, and he went ahead and CAD designed it and 3D printed the mop. And then I got together with him, and we built up two of these planes. And then I'll do a build series. It's that simple. So I'll leave you with some of the initial testing that we did, and we'll see you next time. All right. Are you ready? Recording. Still makes a little bit of pulsation. Here comes a helicopter. There's full flaps. It really sounded smooth on the takeoff. This is full flaps, no motor. Wow, look at that float. A little bit of motor. No crashes. Can't have any crashes. Boy, that flies good, and it's pretty windy, too. Flaps all the way off. Now with that light and wake battery, I can really tell the flaps doing more. Click the flap. All right. Taking off uphill. Up yeah, the props are counter rotating. So, in case anyone asks, right, here we go, full flaps. Oh, that's still too much altitude. Yeah, it's way too much altitude. Where is it? Oh yeah, that was better. <laughs>